three-month tour of uh, Australia and New Zealand. But before he went, Lisa Jones caught up with him for the Ozone at the shoot of his brand new video. Okay, stand by. Everybody ready? How's it going? This is one I prepared earlier. Give it loads, everybody. The basic idea was to first of all have a choreographed number. Originally, I, I thought, well, we'll just do it that way. But Gordon Elsby, the director, said, well, why don't we shoot it so that we've got something more than just a dance routine? And so uh, his idea was, and I, I think it's a really good one, we're going to do a version of the song that we film, which is me and my band. So it'll be like Azam on stage, performing it live on stage. Then, when the band goes, we change the set, relight it, and I will do it with dancers. I won't dance the whole thing, but I'll be, I'll integrate with the dancers. So that's another thing that Gordon can cut to any time he wants to join the song. Stronger. That's a jump stronger than my love is. Stronger than, oh, I see, so you finish on stronger yes. than, stronger than. How much input do you actually have in the making of the video? Well, it varies, really. Obviously, I need to be happy about what I'm going to do. Um, I mean, I can think of things like, for instance, when we did the My Pretty One video, I said, why can't we make it look like that film Legend? You know, sort of a little story, a good and evil, and, you know, I'll be the hero, of course. When I, as I'm doing this video, Stronger, um, there's very little to put in other than what you're going to offer with your personality and what you, you know, dancing and singing. Also, of course, you know, it seems pretty senseless to me, for instance, to, to get somebody, a director that you've seen, like asking a director to do your, to do your video, and then you tell him what to do. Oh, they're both undone now. <laughs> do you still get nervous that moment before you step onto the stage? Yeah, I don't think that's ever going to change. It's not... For instance, when we open in New Zealand, we will all of us be very nervous. Mm. Because although we've had a couple of weeks to rehearse it here, it's not the same as actually doing it in front of an audience for the first time. Because everyone's thinking, will Cliff remember the lyrics? And I'll be thinking that too. <laughs> will the band remember all the chords? Mm. Will the lighting man remember that I'm going to be there in five minutes? Will he bring the light? And all these things are going through your head. After you've done three or four, then you get apprehensive of what the audience is going to be like. And that's nice, the adrenaline flow, and you go, which is different to thinking, oh, I'm going to do everything wrong and fall off the stage. that I think I could do, that I'm any good at. I mean, it's no good barging into things. I couldn't do Shakespeare, so what's the point? Mm. But all I've got to do now is have a go at them again and get them better and better, so that the next 30, next 30 years, the next, let's say the next 10 years, <laughs> what oh, I need I'm to sure do not. is everything all over again, but maybe twice as good. Deeper, deeper, deeper. To get the picture, both... Earlier this year, Mr. Pavarotti came to London and gave this wonderful great concert in London's uh, open air Hyde Park. And earlier this year, somewhere in Australia, Betty Boo dropped her mic and blew the gaff. <laughs> I mean, again, uh, I, I'm aware of perhaps being oversensitive in these areas, but I get very defensive of rock and roll because I don't know what happened here, but back home the knives were out. Mr. Pavarotti was the singer. And the rest of us were people who called themselves singers, who have to mime. Well, listen, 
Miming is part of our art form. We don't always, I don't like miming, I hate miming. It's a very, very difficult thing to do because sometimes you have to mime a song you sang either weeks or even years ago and you've got to do it exactly the way you sang it when you felt it then. And I don't think it's a very easy thing to do. And I just think it's really unfair when they throw us at each other when it comes to criticism. We're not in, same, in the same world. We're trying to do different things. Pavarotti and Placido Domingo and the others, Jose Carreras, they're just wonderful singers doing something else, and we're just singers doing another whole thing. I really think it's unfair. And sometimes, you know, at a concert like this, I mean, for instance, I've got a choice. This next song, I could sing it live, like I've sung all the other ones. Or sometimes you think to yourself, well, maybe, maybe we'll do it on stage and give the impression that maybe, you know, like we're filming a video or something. So sometimes you've just got to toss a coin. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to mime. Yeah. 
the first song I heard was my Google disc uh, from my Stronger album. And while I am speaking slowly, I am thinking to myself, how does Michael Jackson do this?